Hey guys, so today's um, review first impression is going to be the InStyler brush versus the Simply Straight. So if you guys want to know how I used it and um, how easy it is to use, etc, etc, just keep watching the video. Okay, so I've gone ahead and parted my hair in sections. I did the back off camera because you guys were on going to be able to see that and I'm going to keep looking the other way because I have my mirror all the way up there so I'm going to start off with this section and I blew out my hair normally what I do is I roll a setter and then I bump it you know I to get it straight and I like the curl underneath that's how my hair looks best and that's how I like it. I don't like it bone straight. Um, so I'm going to do one half with the Simply Straight brush and then the other half with the InStyler. And I am using the Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Heat Protection Spray. I love this spray whenever I'm going to um, use the curling iron or the flat iron. Well, I used to use the flat iron because it leaves my hair very shiny and soft. And so I blew it straight. Okay, so here we go. So normally, because it's a little, just a tidbit too oily for me, I spray it on the ends in the middle and a little bit on the roots and that's probably still a lot for my hair so it depends on how much oil you may need then I just comb it through this piece may be a little too thick we'll see when I start using the device so normally I'll take the barrel and I will do this on the roots just to straighten it out on both sides and where's my comb? Damn it, I don't have the comb right here. And then I will take my comb, my tail comb, just for guidance. And you have to make sure if you really want to curl it underneath that you curl it all around before letting go or it's not going to take. And that's it. As you can see, it's beautifully curled and straightened. And what I'm going to do is, in the meantime, I'm going to pin curl it so that my curls can actually last longer throughout the week and I will do that just by curling it underneath with a safety pin now I have been using the InStyler for a while the simply straight brush I've just played around with it, but I haven't actually used it to straighten my hair after I wash it. So I'm going to do the same thing. So let's see. Comb the product through. Let's see what it's going to do. All right, so immediately, this is, I mean, it, it definitely isn't giving me, I feel the same sheen and the same flyaway like the InStyler. This is definitely, definitely, if you like it, bone straight, which I don't like it. 
it works, I believe, best that way. But in order for you to get, let me see if I can bump it. It's not going to work that well. It just isn't. See? Fuck. Let me see. My cone fell, so let me. See. I'll use this one. I don't feel like picking it up. And it is on 430, so it's pretty high, guys. The ink styler doesn't have numbers. Fuck! I touched it. But it's on number three, the ink styler. I'm going to lower it to number two. So with the ink styler, let's see. How easy was that? Not only did it curl better and faster, but it straightened it so much nicer. I feel like it takes the frizzies out with less ease. It's just easier. I mean with much more ease. It's just easier with the um, InStyler. You don't have to struggle. I don't like my hair bone straight. My ends don't look good. They just don't. Even when, and, I, and I'm due for a trim. And I trim my hair faithfully every two, three months. Right now, I'm due. Last time I had a trim was in, <laughs> in June. And I'm going next week for a trim. But even with my hair perfectly trimmed, it just, um, I don't like it bone straight. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go in with the Simply Straight brush. All right, so it's straight, it's straightening it. Looks like here, it's making it a little easier to bump it. If you guys can see that, this is at 430. I'm going to lower it down to 390. I know that there were some YouTubers that they said that it takes like five, seven, eight minutes to warm up, but it must have been maybe an older version because this one took like a minute to two minutes to warm up. All right, so, but let me see what I can achieve with the InStyler. Look at that. Look at the curl. And I feel it just, I feel it takes the frizzies out so much faster. And I get better sheen. So let's do another one. And I didn't even put the oil on it. I don't think I need any more. I did moisturize it prior to um, when I was blow drying it. So I'm going to try not to put too much stuff in it so I don't have too much product buildup. Okay, so here we go with the installer again. So I'm passing it through just to straighten it. Which with the installer, I can do both at the same time. Reduce the frizz, straighten it, and bump it. But then here, all right, so the hair is hot. Let me let it cool off. To bump it at the ends, it's giving me problems. I have to fuss with it. You see, the ends still look ugly and choppy. Now, if I go in it with the InStyler, it's already straight now. The brush did make it straight, but how beautiful is that? Look at that. Okay, so now I'm gonna start it off with the InStyler brush. So 
I do this just to for the roots and then I'm going to go in it with the brush all right look at that look at that with just one pass hell yeah So immediately you see the ends, they look ugly and frail. So as far as straightening goes, it straightens it. Right. However, let me go in it with the InStyler. Voila! Comes up with the curl. I mean, at this point, it really is no brainer as to which one is working better for me. Because you see, it all depends on the style, I guess, that you're trying to achieve in your texture of hair. I have curly, thick hair. I don't like my hair bone straight. I think it looks horrible, simply because it's so thick. Um, I like it with a little bit more bounce and volume at the ends. And you'll see what my hair, what I look like and what my hair looks like when it has um, the bounce, the curl underneath it. Normally, especially seems I've been doing these fashion colors um, and I bleach my hair. Normally, I well, I've stopped blow drying it. What I do is, while it's wet, what I'll do is I roll a set it. The, the texture of the hair changes immensely when you roll a set it and then blow dry it straight versus just, look at that. You see, look at the curl. Versus um, blow drying it straight. Comes out softer with much more sheen. And I find also that my hair lasts me longer the style than when I just blow dry it. I also find that it actually requires less product to make it shiny and soft when I roller set it versus when I'm blow drying it. You see, in the ends, the way they look, all ugly and frail, they look ugly er simply because I blew it out I blew it out with a comb at least the majority of the hair I blew it out with a comb so that's why the ends actually look so ugly and frail all right so here we go on this part I'm curious to see how the simply straight brush is going to make my ends look since they look so ugly over here and I didn't put any grease or anything okay so thumbs up for taking out the frizzies there it looks good didn't do such a great job on the top as you can see so let me see if maybe combing it through will straighten it And it did, but as you can see though, it still has like a marker, like an indentation. It's not fully straight, so I have to work at it. And I'm pretty sure if I continue doing it, it will straighten, but who wants to do that when I'm pretty sure the InStyler will do it instantly. We'll straighten it and remove any remaining frizzies. Okay, so that part there is too wide. And once again, I'm going to do this, and here we go. So you have to make sure that you curl it everything all around. There you go. Look how it falls with volume and everything, as opposed to it just being flat. 
and it's okay don't sometimes people might say oh i don't like to crawl underneath it the thing is is that the re one of oh, i mean the main reason i like is because like i said the ends do look ugly but the thing is is that these curls and the reason also why i pin curl them is to make the curl tighter is because as time goes by during the week because i wash my hair weekly my hair doesn't require um every day or every other day it's it's not um so it's oily on the roots semi oily on the roots and dry towards the bottom but um the thing is is that you lose it so i actually have more i have so like that i if the curl is tight i have less maintenance to have to deal with during the week because you lose the curl it doesn't stay tight like tight curls you'll see what it looks like they drop but my hair is thick so it's definitely going to last longer on my hair than it would on someone who has fine thin thin limp hair so I'm going to go through it to straighten it but you see I have thick hair and okay so it's not bumping it and you can't really hold it for long because the hair gets very hot so it's giving it body and it's giving it a form yes but look at the ends you see how the ends look they look horrible look still it looks like thick it's not perfectly straight so if I went outside and it's really humid it's just gonna frizz up my hair you have to definitely uh, straighten it out make sure it's very straight that you take out all the frizzies it needs a lot of heat okay so here we go There we go. Look at that. Look, I mean, look, look at the difference how it falls with the instyler versus how it fell not too long ago when I used the brush. I'm gonna go back in it with the brush. I don't know why, but just so that you can continue to see the demonstration. So look at the ends and look how I am straight straightening it. Oh my God, I can't even say the word. So you see the difference when I go in it, how it falls whenever I go through it. And so you see the difference, you see my, the ends just sticking out and they're frizzy. And I'm trying to curl it underneath, but I'm going to keep struggling. So here we go with the instyler. I know it's not going to continue to prove me wrong. Look at it. I mean, just look. Look, look at it. Look at the ends. They look, they don't look frayed, like whenever I do the, um, the Simply Straight. This, I was going to say, screw it, I'll do it with the Instyler, we already know, but just one more, you guys, one more, just one more. So I'm trying to go around it the same way I would use any other brush if I was blow drying it or the instyler for that matter but it's not working it just isn't like it'll take the form it'll take the form somehow it'll try to at least and I'm not gonna go through it anymore you guys get the gist of it all right so we're gonna do this one last time
and you see how you have to curl it all around and just look how it falls look at the difference I mean come on now are you for real are you for real Okay, so I'll, I'm unpinning my, I just unpinned the curls off of my hair. And I'm just passing my hands through. And this is what it looks like. So as you can tell, it's got body volume to it. If I would have set it, roller set it, definitely would have been softer in more sheen that's all right at least it's free but and you see it's got lots of volume but it's going to die out within the next day or two it's not it's not that not going to stay like this but as you can see what my hair looks like and as you can see how thick it is and how much hair i have I mean, it's just hair galore. All right, so what's my take on it? I think we know the answer to that question. And my take on it is this. So this Simply Straight Brush, which I purchased it from HSN, and it cost $59.95. This Instagram brush, I purchased it from my local beauty supply store for a hundred bucks. And um, this one, they both straighten your hair. The difference that I find is with this one, it takes more time to straighten it. So even if you want your hair bone straight, you can do it with this. You just don't have to curl it underneath it. But this one is faster. I This one reduces the frizz faster, makes it straighter than this one. If you already have bone straight hair and you just want to um, straighten it, this will work for you. Or if you don't have um, curly, thick, frizzy hair, this will work for you. Now, if you want to bump it or curl it underneath it, this is the one. If you want to reduce the frizz and I feel also more shine to your hair, the InStyler is the one for you. Um, I'm going to return this brush. I don't like it. The only pro, the only cons that I don't like about the InStyler is that it came with this right here so that you can set the curling iron on it when it's hot versus the Simply Straight brush came with this, which I love because here you can put um, the brush when it's hot. And also, to put it away, it has this little pocket. And you just put it in there. How cool is that? And it's got, and it closes with a Velcro. It's got the Simply Straight logo. That's about the best thing with this. But other than that, this is not going to work for me. Because if I use this on my hair, I have to pass it a few times, and then I'm still gonna have to go with it either with a, cur with a flat iron or a curling iron to achieve maximum straightness and free frizz elimination versus the InStyler. I do it all at once with such ease. Sometimes I just pass it once. And now, 
I no longer use the blow dryer when I roller set my hair to straighten it. I just use my InStyler blush brush because it does it so much faster. And you don't have to struggle having to go and uh, uh, uh. you guys know how it is when you have that thick curly hair and you're trying to straighten it out. So you can even use just a, a comb on the end of your blow dryer and just comb it out just I mean just dry it out and then pass this it is so much easier than this so that's my two cents on it I hope you guys enjoyed this um, review and that you found it helpful so as always please rate subscribe oh another thing about the simply straight brush as you're using it you have to be extra careful with the handle I mean literally extra careful because if not you'll be hitting these are the controls on it, it up down wait yeah plus minus and the power button you'll either be changing the temperatures or turning it off and it doesn't even beep when it comes on or off or if you are changing the temperature you will not know it until it, you're like passing on your hair and you're like wait a minute my hair is not um straightening up and then when you look at it ah it's either off or the temperature lowered it goes very high uh, I think up to 450 475 I'm not sure Fahrenheit and I like this one better versus the flat iron because you don't get that mark when you're trying to bump it and curl it underneath it so that's another um, plus to this brush so yeah so um keep watching please my videos I love you guys I love your support thank you for everything and don't forget to always unleash the makeup pour inside of you. Bye, guys.